Welcome to the jungle. Oh yeah. Hi flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and welcome to this episode of planting plugs in my pajamas. Let's go. Good morning guys. It's a very windy day, but I just pulled the size down in the high tunnel. Look how weedy it got from a few months of neglect, but I'm able to plant what I need to in this middle row. I'm putting in some campanula. Uh, I'm gonna overwinter it here in the center aisle. Through all my research, I have found that the center of the hoop house obviously stays a couple degrees warmer. And this is my first time attempting to overwinter anything out here in camp. I'm told it's a zone three, so we shouldn't have a problem. I'm a zone 4B and I am going to be covering it so that it will have extra protection and we will see how it does. This is what I planned on doing last year, but I never got the plants in the ground because it was still weedy and I didn't clean it up. Now I'm like, you know what? I'll take care of the weeds on the sides afterwards. Let me just get the plants in the ground in the middle. This is all um, pretty weed free. This is some hoses. I'm just watering the ground right here because it hasn't been watered out here in a couple of months. So I'm just saturating the ground so that it actually has um, some water in when I plant these, these plugs. I got these from Farmer Bailey. They are three different colors of Campanula. So I'm gonna get it in the ground. This is white. I actually got this a couple weeks ago. So it's been sitting outside for a couple of weeks and uh, now I'm gonna get it in the ground. It's been rained on, it's seen frost already. It was down to 31 degrees the other day. So this is already acclimated to the temperatures and now I just gotta plop it in the holes. This is a 210 tray and a lot of these are double planted. Um, like you can see, whoops, sorry. You can see there are actually two plants right there. Um, these were much more green when they came in. They're beautiful plugs. Like I said, they've been sitting outside for a couple of weeks and they've actually seen frost a couple of times. So these are perfect and ready to go in the ground right now. They will just gonna be literally dying back <laughs> and then coming back to life in the spring. I'm leaving this black cloth down. I burned holes in it for the ranunculus and I'm just planting in the same holes and it should be good to go. This is probably a little bit further spacing than I need. You know what, no, this is about four inches, which is what I would plant the camp at anyway. It does get rather large, but I'm trying to make it grow taller. Um, so we'll see how it does in here. I hope it's gonna be happy. This mess in the front, this is actually weeds that I had my, my buddy Branda came over and she helped me weed out this place the other day. <laughs> so that pile of weeds just needs to be taken out of there. It's all dead stuff. Um, but this, eh, it is what it is. I can't keep up with everything, right? I'm doing way too much as it is. And uh, this I'll take care of, pull this out, and then put another layer of black fabric here. Branda is afraid of snakes. And these hose colors, by the way, not so good when you have people afraid of snakes because she's constantly <laughs> thinking that these are snakes in the grass. Woohoo! Lesson. I'm wearing my Buffalo Bills pajama pants because I've been busy this morning. <laughs> And this is what I'm wearing. got the first, I don't know, 50 or 60 or so in. And a common question I get all the time is if you'll recall back in the late winter this year, every single one of these holes had a ranunculus corm in it. And I grew ranunculus here. I actually grew the porcelain ranunculus here and it bloomed beautifully. However, every single year, people ask me if I lift and save my ranunculus corms. Well, I just dug up all of these holes, every single one of them. And this is the only corm that I found. I have a vole problem and I believe that the voles are actually eating all of my corms and honestly I don't have time to go through earlier in the season and dig out all the corms and save them before the voles can get to them. So my answer is no I don't save my corms. Okay I have the first tray done. It took up about 10 feet so I will have uh, the second tray and the third tray. I have enough room right here. I'm gonna move this hose out of the way though because I keep getting caught up in it. <sighs> yeah, plenty of room. All right, two more trays to go. Let's do the blue. Um, it looks like I didn't buy blue. <laughs> Technically, this is called lilac, 
which which right here it says champion lilac so it's a light lavender purple um so yeah i have lavender white and pink It is warming up in here really bad. All right, oh, there's a slug. Ugh. It's getting hot in here. Whew. Okay, lilac and white are in. Pink is left. And I know it's pink. <laughs> it's been so long since I ordered these probably seven months ago that I forgot what I ordered. And let's now take a quick look at the other half of Hoop House Henry. Oh dear. Oh my. I have not cleaned this out yet. Here you see Fever Pew still actively blooming. Here you see Snapdragons with just a little bit of color. It's not enough though, but. Hi, Snap. Oh, so cute. Uh, and then over here, we have some mums that I planted. Now these are heirloom mums. These are the ones that uh, you're supposed to be able to use in the fall for cutting, but I didn't really take care of them like I should have. Here we see some snow in the mountain euphorbia that has gone to seed. I'm wondering if I could collect these guys. How cool would that be? Maybe I'll do some experiments. Like this one right here looks like I should be able, cause it's nice and brown. Oh, oh yeah, all right, that's going in my pocket. Okay, we'll see if those germinate. And then over here I have honeywort. Honeywort, some of it's bad, some of it's dead. This is looking really nice, actually. Um, and then these go to seed as well. They have little black seeds. I could collect that probably. And I don't have any other varieties of these plants, so I would hope that they would be true. And then I had some straw flowers in the middle here, which I still have some gorgeous straw flowers. Obviously these have gone to seed too. I wonder if I should collect. Mm, yeah, I mean, straw flower seed. Interesting. Uh, and then I had stock growing on the other side. And then way in the back here, I planted, look at those mums, aren't they pretty? Um, I planted eucalyptus and I'm gonna try and overwinter this eucalyptus back here. Um, it's looking pretty good. It's a couple, I would say this is about two and a half feet tall. This looks a little bit taller. This looks to be about, yeah, this is like my belly button height. So that's like three feet tall. Um, so I'm going to weed this out, overwinter it, and see if it will come back in here. Mm, it smells so good. I'm a zone four, and this is, I've had friends in zone five overwinter it in their greenhouse, so I'm going to give it a try. I probably should cut it back a little bit, though, before... Oh, I'm going to do some research. What do you guys think? Should I cut it back or just cover it up? Oh, it smells so good. I think I am going to cut it back though, because I want to maybe make a shower spray for myself. Ooh, these straw flowers, literally taller than me in here. That's like, it's like a foot taller than me. This one is. Anyway, I got to cut all these back and compost this all, get my tiller in here, till it all down, and then get ready for spring before winter comes because I need to be able to plant in here in February. Have you guys ever seen the skulls of snapdragons from long ago? They're little skulls. There are snapdragon seeds inside. Let's crack open a skull, shall we? Oh God, it, it's juicy. Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm going to have some self-seeding snapdragons. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Wow. Snap seeds galore. Let's see. Let's see if they grow back. So when you take a look at this middle aisle, as compared to the back, she actually looks quite nice. <laughs> anyway, I am going to get this last color planted and get going. I also have to run to town. Got a few more ranunculus and anemone orders that came in overnight. I have to shower. I really, honestly, I have to shower first and then run to town. And then my son has a soccer game that I'm going to attend this afternoon. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. I will see you very soon. Just watering all the babies in. All three trays are in. 
And welcome to this episode of Planting Pugs. I was wrong. Not planting pugs. That'd be really cute though. 